I'm so excited for today. Today we are doing a Dolores Umbridge. And um, a while back I said, hey, I'm eventually probably gonna do Dolores. And I got a little note from Kaylin and Piper and they said, hey, you still gonna do her? And I said, yes I am. So this one's for you guys. And everybody loves to hate her because she's so evil. Anyways, let's get started. We're gonna start with the dome overhead, okay? So to start on one side, yeesh, come on, Cher. And go the other side. I kinda made that little floppy there. So we're making a rainbow. We got the rainbow and then her cheeks, she's chubby, chubby, chubby. Sorry, Dolores. So she's got these little chubby cheeks that are gonna come out. Okay, maybe make it so more rounded than that. And then they're gonna come down to the bottom. It's, mm, I would say it's flat, but not really. So bring it on down. So she's up there with the evils, even though she's all, hi, I'm so cute and I'm so wearing pink, but no, mm -mm, pure evil. Go down the middle here. And we're gonna make this one a little higher because usually when I do the hairline, um, the hair goes into it, but I just started off with where the hairline was. So we're gonna make this line across. You can make it a little higher up, okay? So it's a little higher where the eyes are. And right on this side, so for her eyes, she kind of has these tilty eyes, at least in the movies. So they just kind of like an arch. And then when you bring this in, don't have it come all the way. And then it's gonna, she has right inside there. Bloop. And then she's gonna be, she looks like she kind of is mischievously smirking. Like she's always says, oh, I'm so pleasant, but she's up to no good. So the same thing on this side. So we're gonna do the arch for the eye and then bring it in and I guess it's gonna come down a little ways and then she's got the I guess that could be due to her smirking or she's just plain chubby Shh, don't tell her don't tell her I said that all right so we're gonna put the shinies in she doesn't deserve shinies but oh well it's going in and she's got this crease either side and she's got some major lashes here so so put some lashes in there and her eyebrows to make her look better evil are definitely arching down the same thing on this side arch them up and then I just put a couple, I, I ended up, this is just gonna be with colored pencil. And of course in the middle, now we need her nose. So I'm just gonna do a round circle. So it looks kind of clowny, but we'll erase in there. And this part is fine. We'll eventually erase. And then I guess we'll just do the lips. So halfway through from here to here, actually her lips are gonna be a little higher because she's got this smirk. So let's say this is the, the middle of her mouth and then she's got her little lipstick on pink matching her outfit of course and she's got thin little lips because she's not pretty now let's get rid of this center line wow those lips are to be desired mm. yeah she never got married <laughs> i would want to marry her <laughs> Probably tried, but nah, but it didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna fix these lips up a little bit. Yeah, that works. Um, so on the top of her head, I guess a little lopsided, but wow, well, she's gonna have this big old curly cue. So we'll kind of come from here and it's just gonna whoosh around. So from here, this big curl bring it around and then stop right before you get to there and then we're gonna do the center one bring it around and touch all right and erase in here because that's where her hair is now in there now you want to put some like swooshes in here so 
so it looks like it's, it's like a wave going over. And then you can put a couple more. Hairs in there. Swishing them around. There we go. Nice and swirly. And coming out of here, she has these hairs coming out. I'm sure she uses lots of hairspray. Or maybe wizards, do they have to use hairspray? And then we're just going to make her hair going to curl around like that. That'd be good to know because they're magical, so maybe they don't need hairspray. And then right off here, we're going to make it come up. And then her hair is just going to come back in. All right. So on this side, so right off of her curl, have it come down. And then it's going to come in right into the side of her head right there. And we'll do the same thing we did on this side. And I'll bring it. It's going to kind of go underneath that big giant wave. You know what? Actually, I think I put in a few more waves there. So I just put in some extra waves. So on the outside wave, just put a couple more. Zoop. Zoop. There you go. Excellent. And I put uh, her little box hat on there. So you're just going to go up on either side and then it's going to connect. Go behind. So lift up your pencil. So she's got her, I want that more pointed, her box hat behind there. And of course it's pink. All right, so now we're gonna do her neck. So we're gonna do neck down here and then make a point that comes down. Wow, she's looking younger here. Hmm, curious. And she's got her collar, so it's gonna kinda of come in between both these two lines. And her collar's gonna go down on either side and then you want this Good job. And we made the little scallop dead, so you could make it however you want. I'm making some little big, some littler. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Oh, what do we know about her? Okay, so Dolores, Dolores' father was a wizard, and the mother was just a muggle. And the father did not do anything real impressive. So he did work at the Ministry of Magic, you, and I found out that he was just a janitor yep so he just cleaned things so i did two ovals right here and then i'm putting a kitty brooch in there so i just did an oval with the ears and then the the kitty neck down because you know her she's obsessed with kitties all right excellent job and then we're going to put her shoulders that are going to be coming off of this so she was not impressed with her dad because he just was an impressive guy. And so the mom was a muggle, the dad was a wizard. So together they had her, so she was a full wizard, but she had a brother who was a, what they call it, a squib. Is that what it's called? Uh, yes, and what's a squib? You guys remember that. It is somebody, oh, let's make a line down here. Somebody that is a wizard, but has no powers, no magic. So that was like the, the janitor at the school at Hogwarts. He was a squib because he did not have any magic. He's probably a little bitter about that. Okay, we're doing the arms down. So she's kind of a big set woman. Woohoo! So we want to make sure we emphasize that. She's not small in the, la in the least. And I put her having a little teacup in her hand thought that was appropriate. So we're gonna make the sleeve here. So let's make a sleeve. And then inside the sleeve, make an oval in the sleeve. And then we're gonna have the hand coming out of that sleeve. I guess I probably should have made this a little bit higher. Okay, so out of that, we're gonna raise a little bit right here so you can have the hand come out. So right out of here, we're gonna have her, oh, I think they made the sleeve way too low. Let me, higher okay so it's like her her thumb and then she's got a finger that's holding the teacup like she's holding it and then she's got her fingers and then I put this giant ring on her because she's kind of gaudy that way with a big jewelry 
and then turn another thumb and then bring this inside. So she's holding her teacup on this side. Then we're gonna put a teacup in the middle. So off of her finger, she's got, she's holding the little handle of the teacup. Then on top of that, put an oval and then a teacup that's connected to it. If you wanna be making steam come up, you can, or you can just let it be. And you put a little bit of tea in there. And down below, she's got her saucer. And with this hand, she's actually holding her, this is gonna go behind it, she's holding it underneath. So we're just going to bring this in. And then we're gonna put her hand, it's gonna come, so she has a thumb, but it's gonna go up and over. So it's like holding it, and this one's just gonna go underneath. So you can erase in there. If you want to do it, see how I just did like a decorative design, just do that with colored pencils when you do it. And since she's so solid, it's just going straight down. Bam. All right, so it is magical Sharpie time. So get, I don't have my magic wand today, but um, or how does Hermione say it? Anyone, let's just go. All right, I'm now going to double Sharpie it. Okay, now it's double Sharpie. And we're gonna get the handy dandy eraser and erase all my lines. Oh, also, when I did this, I realized I forgot to do the um, crease mark. So I bloop, 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 bloop in there. Super. All right, here's my colors for today. We're gonna start with our peach, which I use for skin. So I also found out that, well, we all know that <laughs> she is obsessed with pink and cats. And her Patronus is a Persian cat. Now she actually doesn't like, from what I've read, um, real cats. She just likes um, the images of cats and decorating with cats. Uh, she thinks cats are too messy which of course it's a lot of work, but yeah, she's a crazy, crazy cat lover. And, oh, something else I found out. There's only two people that left scars on Harry Potter. So that's Voldemort with the lightning bolt on his head. And there's one more scar on him. Can you guys think of what that is? If you guys guessed the, his hand, that was because of this lady, this mean lady, when she made him have detention and she had to, he had to write with a magical quill on a paper and it said, what did it say? It said, I must not tell lies. So he had to do it on this paper over and over and while he's doing that, it's carving into his, um, into right here, the back of his hand the same thing and over and over and it would start to bleed. That's how e evil she was. And she did this to a lot of students. So a lot of students had bloody outer hands. Yeah, that's how evil she is. So yeah, she's an evil woman. And also, which I kind of knew, but now I really know, she has a phobia of half humans. And those are the the centers, the mer people, the half giants. And the great part is that she was, they tricked her. Ron, Harry, and Hermione tricked her to come out into the forest. And guess who took her away? <laughs> yes, the half humans. It was brilliant. Brilliant. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it darker on either side. So I'm pushing down harder on both sides of her nose. Do you see how I'm doing that? So it actually looks like she has a nose. And then on her, I'm gonna go like in a circle around her nose like this. Give her, give her a cute button nose, even though she does not deserve a button nose. Um, I'm gonna go under the eyebrows a little and around the eyes. And let's go one more layer here. Then we're gonna come in with the, oh, let's go under the nose. 
and also on the sides here for her little chubby cheeks with her glare. Mm -hmm. So then you're gonna come in, I'm just doing a little bit more, maybe right here, emphasize those cheeks. And now you can take, let's just do the pink, we'll get it done. I'm putting her rosies a little higher up by her eyes. So I remember I go one way, I'm gonna go the other way lightly, and then I'm gonna go in the middle a little bit harder. Want another way, maybe straight on. It just makes sure it fills it in better. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm going one way, another way, and then filling it in, and I'm gonna give her some eyeshadow in here. She doesn't deserve to look so cute, but uh, we're giving her makeup. Fine. She gets makeup. Putting some makeup in there. And then her bottom lip, let's paint the color of the whole thing in just a regular pink. And her nose, let's give her a little pink. And I'm gonna come in with my, is this magenta? Yes. The upper lip is going to have the magenta. And then I'm also gonna put a touch more. I'm gonna put magenta in her eyeshadow more. Yep, she's got a makeover. And with this magenta, we might as well, we're on a roll with magenta. Let's color in her hat. Magenta. So now I'm gonna take the tan and let's go around the edge give it more of a 3D look. And of course, under the hair, looks like there's a shadow. And then go around her face with the tan. Of course, you wanna go under her chin. Uh, still going around her face. Still going. Do I know anything else? Hmm. Ah, uh, no, I think I pretty much told you everything I know. That, you know. I do love in the end where she gets all frazzled. I do love how they had um, Dumbledore's army and they'd go and meet in the secret room. I love that. Behind her back. She knew it was happening. She just didn't know how to control it in the very end when the twins leave in a blaze of glory fireworks and all that good stuff. Okay, I think I made her a little too dark. If you do, let's say you make it a little dark, just get your eraser and you can just go over it lightly, just like, hey, okay, let's put a little too much in there. And you can always just erase some. No biggies. Not make it so. She is a crazy white woman. Okay, let's do her beautiful eyes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has blue eyes, do it darker along the top part, and then as you come down, go lighter, so darker and then light. Dark, 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 and then go light, dark, and then light. What else is blue? Oh, I did behind the kitty, I made it blue. And of course the background I made blue, but I'm gonna let you guys just do that. Also, oh, I think I forgot the ray. Where Grandma? Yes, it's hiding. We've got gray, and so I always like to go in my eyes and then do the shadow. So right where the whites are. See how you see the difference? It just gives a little shadow in there. Just a little bit. Do the same thing on this side. Oh, and we also wanna put pink in the center of the eye. So you take a little pink, it's that little spot there. Pink, pink. Can even get it in there, yeah. Okay, so her hair, I did lots of colors, so I did uh, the golden yellow, um, a light brown, and regular brown. So the golden yellow, I'm just gonna go on the outside here. She had some highlights done, she's looking good. Put a little bit more on the inside. She's mostly brown, but we're just giving it a touch of color. Now I'll do the regular light brown, I'll just do regular brown, light brown. Sorry, I keep saying regular brown. This is light brown. I'm just coloring the whole thing and then I'm gonna come in with dark brown.
I'm just gonna call the whole thing and then I'll come back in and I'll do my darks. Dark, dark, darks in there. So just fill it all in. I'm trying to think, if she could date anybody <laughs> at Hogwarts, who would it be? It would be the janitor. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the janitor had a crush on her because he would do anything for her. That's my thoughts. Isn't that gross? That just, you just wanna bleh, throw up. Gross. Oh, gross. Ooh, they're kissing, gross. Just kidding. Sheesh. It's kind of fun. All right, I am taking, this is just regular brown and just making some strips so it doesn't look like it's all one color. I think I actually even put some tan in there to fill it in, because you guys see how the, the color difference is? So I think we put tan in to fill in some of it. So let's uh, make some dark strips. Okay, I'm pushing down harder right here. I am, I realize I put some also some black in there too, but I'm pushing this down hard. I'm gonna come here, it's gonna be hard right here, pressing down hard with my brown. Go along the outside. And then make these little strips in here dark. Oh, her eyebrows. Woo, don't forget those. Great job. Um, so now let's just go in with tan. Do you see how it just looks different here? So if you go in with tan, it's just gonna fill in some of that white in there to give it more of a solid brown look. I'm just gonna do that up here too. With tan. Same thing over here. And, oh, here's black, perfect. So come in here, we're just pushing down black here so we have more of a shadow with the hairs underneath. And also you can give a little bit of black in here if you want. Black under here. And I might put a little black in there, great. Super job, let's put a little black shadow in there. looking evil okay so let's get out the pink and this is just going to be a regular regular pink I'm just going to go all one direction just medium I'm going to do half of it so I'm going to do one side and then you could do the other side because it's about the same on both sides okay so push down this really hard around the outside And now you wanna go underneath hard. I'm gonna make the scallops the magenta. Okay. And you go around the buttons. I'm pushing down hard there and the rest I'm just gonna go medium, medium light. Going another direction because sometimes it just doesn't look filled in enough, and they want to make it darker underneath where her her bosom is. Her chunks down around. She's the little solid girl. Okay. Oops. Oh, it looks like we got some sunbeams going in there. You want the sun, but then you don't want it beaming down. Oh well. And um, so make it darker underneath here. Make it darker in her sleeve. Make it darker under the shadows. And of course we forgot her hand. 
So that is a the peach color. So you're gonna make it darker along the edge and the rest just do medium. You guys can make your ring any color. I just made mine like a ruby red, but oh, I want the magenta. Let's go around the outside here before we forget. This is her, her little doily scalloped collar, jacket collar. There we go, lovely, lovely. And you know what, I'm just gonna make this one magenta. Why not? And then I'm take yellow for the gold. Mm -hmm. And take tan to go around to give it some dark in here. So it looks like there's a shadow under her. Um, okay, so, oh, I used gray for the shadow here. So in here, just put a little bit of shadow inside the teacup. All right, and we're gonna make a, oh, on this Wednesday, my, I'm kind of like in charge of like one of the little church groups and we are gonna have etiquette night and we're gonna have a tea party and <laughs> We're gonna be dressing up, it's gonna be fun. So let's see how that goes. Okay, now you can put a little decorative. What I did, this is simple as can be. Just come in here and just make some circles. That's all I did, just made some circles. And then I come in here with green, of course, I, oh, here's the green. And then I'm just gonna make some just like kind of leaves in there. So it's not, too fancy fancy but it just looks like there's like flowers and then with any one of the browns so we'll take the lighter one maybe some tea in there all right i'm gonna let you guys do the other half it's the same as this half and then do a blue background and you got this see you in the next